it's so nice to see like people out and about. Favorite places to go because it is so beautiful. We have officially finished our charcuterie boards. We were just laughing so hard about how I should do like, get ready with me for my pap smear. Women's health, take care of it. Good morning, you guys. From a very fresh faced Amanda and kind of rosy as well. I just had an incredible gym session with Sid. I'm gonna put on my AC because, oh my goodness gracious, it's gonna be 29 degrees today. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. Today I have some exciting plans. I am heading over to Dermedics. That is where I go to get all of my hydrofacials and like any treatments and all of that stuff. It is a medical grade clinic for skincare. They are incredible there. Dr. Channing Moon, I literally was one of his clients, one of his patients rather, when he first started whoops, in dermatology because I used to have the worst eczema on my legs ever and now he does all of this cosmetic stuff and he is literally goals. Um, I'm also going to get a brand new treatment today I've never gotten before and it is all surrounding the prep of wedding skincare. So today what I'm getting done is dermaplaning, I wanna say microplaning, it's called dermaplaning. And it's like this tiny little razor that just takes off all of the dead skin as well as the little hairs on your face. And that's honestly the most that I know so far. So hopefully we have Kim today because she is one of the heads of the clinic and She's incredible. She was the one that was like, Amanda, you need to test this out first just to be sure because we're gonna be doing some collaborations together, me and Dermedics, for wedding prep and wedding skin, which I am so excited to bring you along with the journey. I'm also doing some things for my bridesmaids, which is phenomenal. But basically what we're gonna do is go get that treatment done, see how my skin re reacts, make sure that it's all good, it should be, but some people can maybe break out after or just have a reaction, just depending on any skincare, really, like adding any product to your skin. You just wanna see how it reacts, especially before your wedding day. So this is my little skin, and hopefully we are all good. All I have on right now is a little sunscreen, SkinCeutical sunscreen, my absolute favorite, which I also need to pick up some. This is more a note to Amanda while I'm rambling. Let's go get this done. Amazing workout today, amazing sunny day. It's gonna be 29 degrees. We're rocking it. And this dress, hard to show you while I'm sitting, but I got it from Amazon. It is absolutely epic. I wanna get it in a couple of different colors. I just ordered this one just to see how it would go, but I am in love. I wanna order the white one too. And of course, my classic festiche belt by Cezanne. So I will link those down below. And you keep getting lower because people keep walking past my car. <laughs> Let's do it. I am officially in the E-Wing, which is where we are going to have kind of our bridal pre-wedding event and <laughs> all of the treatments that my bridal party are gonna get. I'm just gonna kneel so I can chat with you. So basically what's happening today is Kim is going to be joining us for a little dermaplaning like we already talked about. She's going to talk me through everything that happens in the process so that when we're making content, I have all of the information to share with you. I know it is correct. It is literally by the professional. This is where I'm gonna be laying. I might actually just put this up for a time lapse and however long we get, we get, and that's like kind of fun. And then I'm also gonna take just a few clips on my phone so I can make a pre-reel and then show my skin the next day and the next day just to make sure that I don't break out and nothing happens. Um, it's not typical. It's not typical to break out, but if you do have really acne prone skin, that is something that can happen and you never wanna do a brand new treatment to you the day before a wedding or something that is so big and so important to you where there's photographers and everything's going on. We know the drill. Purchased a couple of my refills from Dermedics and this is my favorite skin cleanser. It's a SkinCeuticals skin cleanser and it also has a very gentle exfoliant. And this is my favorite sunscreen. I was running low because, ladies and gentlemen, you should be wearing your sunscreen every single day. I put this on every single day. I can hear that Kim's coming in soon, so I'm gonna let her do that. is about to die, so I'm actually gonna catch up with you guys at home. We're gonna stack these treatments, and then I'll also talk to you about why that is important to stack treatments to get ready for your, your bridal skin. You can come in, Kim. <laughs> She's like, ah. But quickly, I will just pan. This is the hydrofacial machine. Kim, who is my literal angel. It is incredible. My battery's right about to die, so that's why I'm like, gotta go quick. <laughs> I have dreams. 
dreams about us. Hello, my angels. Good morning, you guys. So I just went to my, what would it be? Like annual, biannual, little body checkup with my doctor. She's amazing. We were laughing so hard because I was wearing this little dress from Amazon, which I will link down below. And it was perfect for a pap smear because I mean, you don't have to get totally undressed, take your pants off. You basically just, you know, do what you need to do, put the blanket over and you're going, it's happening quick. And yeah, she got what she needed. We were just laughing so hard about how I should do like, get ready with me for my pap smear. Women's health, take care of it. If you guys have a appointment to book, promise me you'll book it today. And that is only because I love you and I want you to be your own health advocate. Okay, so besides that, the dermaplaning and hydrofacial, my skin is like glowing today. When I got up this morning and I had done my whole skincare routine and I reconfirmed all the things that I needed to do with Kim, she is a boss. Like she just knows so much so much about health and skin and treatments and everything to recommend. I don't have acne prone skin. I'm so grateful for it. Dermaplaning can cause breakouts in people who do have acne prone skin. So that's something to think about. And that is why you want to get these treatments done well before an important date, like a wedding or a conference or anything, you know, that you have going on. So, so far, so good. I will keep you in the loop with that. I just posted a couple stories. I'm gonna link this dress down below. I think I already said that. And because I am in the Burlington area, I think before I go home, I'm gonna do a little stop off at HomeSense. Why not? I always love a little cheeky little look around HomeSense and currently I am high on life and camel macchiato. So let's do that. My best friend Rebecca is leaving for Portugal today and I already feel like I am missing her so, so much. So this is a way to soothe my own soul. Maybe go find something for her little one, Odie, little Odin. And yeah, let's just go continue having our day. That was my little catch up as well for the skincare. And I'm gonna be releasing so much more when it comes to the actual information behind it because she gave me so much information. Um, about why to get it, when to get it, who to get it, and what's happening when you when you do get dermaplaning. So I'm gonna write a blog about that. I'm also gonna do a reel, and I'm gonna edit that today, send it to Kim, verify I'm right, and we'll be good to go. <laughs> glowing, glowing, glowing. Home says was a success. And then I went to Walmart after as well to pick up a few things because it is my nephew's birthday coming up as well as my brother's, and my parents are heading up to their place. They live up north. So I wanted to make sure that their birthday presents we're on the way, but I'll show you what I got for the house. I got this frame. Let me get the piece of artwork that I'm gonna put on in here. I just bought this from HomeSense and the artwork is from Monica Hibbs Home, so I'll get, grab that. Okay, so hilariously, the artwork looks kind of similar to what is going on here, but I love it so much. It is a water lily and then I also have this one. This one is, I believe, a five by eight and this is an eight by 10. So that will work absolutely perfectly. I am going to leave that there, put that in there. And then I also got for the green room because clearly we are still under construction, but if I have all of the bits to put it together when we are ready, it's gonna be, it's gonna be pulled together so quickly. We are actually getting a trundle bed and I saw this Laura Ashley queen set and look at how beautiful it is and it matches so lion <laughs> it matches so perfectly with the room so once we get the bed that will be perfect I'm going to throw that together for now I am going to get myself sorted and I actually have a try on for you guys I am also so excited to say that my Karen Millen package arrived. I ordered a few things from Lydia's new collection and they were just gonna be so perfect for wedding events, etc. And there was one dress that even though it's not fully white, I just had to pull the trigger on because I was that obsessed. What I'm gonna do though is I'm going to unpack them, steam them so they look their very best because that is the best way to show you something genuinely. And then we'll do a little try on a little later. But I gotta tackle some admin things first. Um, including this frame. I need something to help me pry these little bits up because I truly don't want to ruin my nails just to get this in there. So let's tackle those duties.
check her down below, you guys. If you love a neutral, homey, cozy, how else would you describe your home? I like to think it's kind of like English countryside meets, I don't know, more traditional? Yes, 100%. I'm going to put some photos of her Instagram up. She doesn't need any advertising, okay? She's doing well by herself in these reels, but if you love those vibes, you know that I do, you have to follow her. So today, you guys know I love cable. And Emma actually invited me as her plus one to this event, which is so cute. Okay, so we are here downtown Toronto. It's an evening together. I literally was so late just because of traffic coming from Waterdown. But thankfully, it is a chill vibe. And Emma was saying that we're actually going to be creating charcuterie boards. So we have snagged this front table because best lighting, you know. <laughs> and it is like a little night with Fable. And I already see some home creators that I love. This guy taught me what colors to do <laughs> from his TikToks in my kitchen. Well. <laughs> somewhere and then I'll show you Emma's board but I'm actually so proud of this one thing that I learned is that they love to create height and dimension <laughs> I feel like I'm saying this like I'm an expert now and I love the little cracker towers too it's so nice little pairs of three we know in a flat lay odd numbers are always so nice so yeah this has been so cute good job Emma go little rock star our charcuterie boards. I just showed you a little shot of it. Emma did a really good job. I honestly really like this part that she did. Good job, Angel. Um, and now we're just gonna enjoy it just a little bit. Look at this. Yeah, can you can you show us? So it's an edible brownie. And it's got well, obviously it's an edible brownie. It's edible flowers on it, like in a brownie. Look how gorgeous. That would be gorgeous at like a bridal shower or like a baby shower or something. Any event. Any event. I just shot my bridal trends for 2023 video and this is what I was wearing this is one of the dresses from Lydia Millen's collection <laughs> I said that really weird from Lydia Millen's collection <laughs> Lydia Miller from her Karen Millen collection which is it's always so funny that it's Millen Millen <laughs> I remember looking up more on Karen Millen the shop and one of the questions on Google was like are they related <laughs> they are not Anyways, I digress. This dress is so, so beautiful. I've been meaning to show you a couple of new and things in my wardrobe, and this dress is one of them, but I need to get it altered. I hope you could see that. It's basically, I had to, okay, wait, maybe you can see it better here. I had to put an elastic around there because I, I just never know what to order, what size, when, especially when I'm ordering from the UK, so sometimes, I don't know, it's just a shot in the dark. I ordered a size 10, UK size 10, which normally equates to a small, and it is perfect sizing, I think, for breathing and everything through here, but this strap is just too long. So I am going to get that altered because it does have beautiful buttons that I would love to do up, and then this would sit a little bit, a little bit nicer. But when you do find a silhouette you love, I think it's good to pull the trigger and then just know you may have to alter especially if you are ordering from overseas, which I love to do, <laughs> I'm so sorry. But the length is so beautiful. I am 5'7", and the length is pretty much like kissing the ground there, maybe a little bit more than a kiss, a little French kiss on the ground there. <laughs> but if I was wearing a pair of heels, it's absolutely perfect. 
So I can't wait to wear this on vacation one day. I am also going to be bringing this with me to my bachelorette and in a separate video, I'm going to show you everything that I am packing for my bachelorette and I can't wait. It's basically all getting ready on this little rail, but we do have some time to go. And one of the activities that we're doing that I don't fully know because my maid of honor, Rebecca, she basically said, okay, so you need an outfit. You need this kind of outfit, that kind of outfit, but I don't know exactly what I'm doing. So that will be really fun to vlog as well. Nonetheless, I need to edit this video. <laughs> this is kind of the behind the scenes. Our Monstera is crazy. But I wanted to show you this little scene because I feel like this is all coming together in our bedroom. In the bedroom, I also picture having wainscoting, maybe like a long box here, a big box there to frame the bed, and then a big box here, and then possibly some artwork. Um, but what else? Did I show you this the other day? That I got this new frame from HomeSense. And then this is from Monica Hibbs Home. But what else is new in here? These pillows are also new, these pillowcases. And I actually also got the duvet. In such weird turn of events, it came and it had like stains on it, like water stains or something. I don't know, it was weird. But it's a Pottery Barn collection from Julia Broltzheimer. And this was not her fault. <laughs> this was like a packing thing. But I am obsessed with these. I love the height that it gives it and I love the quilted feature. And this blue could not be more perfect for what is going on here. So I think I'm gonna take some pictures of this as well today and possibly put it on my LTK so that I can start kind of putting more home stuff because I feel like this room is the room that's coming together the best. This light still has to go, but we are working on it. I am going to get to editing this video because my goal is actually to have that out today. So I will link it up above if you haven't seen it yet. It's a deep dive analytically into six publications and what they have been saying about the trends for bridal fashion for 2023. And as a bride in 2023, this makes me so excited and it was so fun <laughs> to do this research. I also, if you don't know if you're new here, I'm designing my own wedding dress or I have officially designed my own wedding dress along with a dressmaker in Waterdown. She is so talented and I'm gonna be showing you all of the behind the scenes. That's with Lisa Van Hatem. And it was so cool doing the research on the trends for this year and then seeing little trends that matched up with the dress that we have created together. <laughs> It's like, oh my God, it's so exciting. I think what I should do after is do like a recap of what the trends were and how my dress kind of lined up with that. That would be really fun. So now I digress, let's get to work. Tonight we are going to Niagara-on-the-Lake. I have another dress actually from Lydia's collection that I'm going to be wearing because Scotty and I are doing a little collaboration with a restaurant down in Niagara-on-the-Lake called 11th Post. And I truly cannot wait to bring you guys along with me there because 11th Post is a new restaurant that has been created by Two Sisters Winery. And Two Sisters Winery is not only one of my most favorite places to go because it is so beautiful, but they are just my favorite overall. So I can't wait, their food is so good. <laughs> so let me get to this work. And then when I'm getting dressed up for the event tonight, the event that Scotty and I have created, which is date night, I will bring you along with me for that. As promised, this is the dress. She is absolute perfection. She fits me the dream. The weightiness of this fabric is so perfect because it provides this beautiful flow and with the buttons going up literally from just blow your knee all the way up to your neck if you wanted. There's so much versatility with that. And the sleeves are beautiful, they're the perfect length. And right now all I am debating is hair down, or do I add a white headband? One sec, let me show you. I feel like I'm going to add this, just cause it's nice second day hair control. And I also packed my camera, glasses, and hairbrush, so we should be set and sorted there. So I'm gonna collect Scotty, take care of Rosie, and we'll see you at the vineyard, AKA the restaurant. in Niagara on the Lake and everyone is outside walking around. It's so nice to see like people out and about and we're gonna go to 11th Post and it's just ahead of us. So I'll, I'll show you. This is on the Main Street, Queen Street.
sadly I wasn't able to vlog in the restaurant. The music was loud enough that I'm pretty sure I'd get copyrighted, but more than that, I just literally didn't want to disturb anyone else's meal. The restaurant was really good. It's in like the coolest spot right on Queen Street, obviously. And it was just nice to see everyone out walking, dressed up, out for dinner. And it was just a really good vibe. The nice thing was the uh, menu is very succinct, so you're not gonna get overwhelmed. And I always love a story, especially about the one about 11th Post and their famous wine, 11th Post. And of course, that's what it's called. And now we're just ready to go home to Rosie. I am not gonna lie though, I got so many compliments on this beautiful dress. So, it's a winner. <laughs> <laughs>